Hi there, welcome to Banana World. Jay-Z opted out of his planned Grammy celebration, reportedly due to Diddy's absence and threats to expose the Grammys and other industry figures. But before we dive into the Diddy drama, let's first dissect how Jay-Z stirred up anxiety in his wife and why Beyonce is feeling embarrassed now. During his acceptance speech for the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award in 2023, Jay-Z seized the opportunity to criticize the Grammy Awards. Among other things, he asserted that Beyoncé is overdue for the Album of the Year Award. Beyoncé has been nominated for Album of the Year five times. Her most notable nomination came for her song, I Am Sasha Fierce, in 2010. She received another nomination for the same song in 2015, this time as a featured artist on Lady Gaga's The Fame Monster. In 2017, she received a nomination for Lemonade, and in 2023, she received a nomination for Renaissance. Many argue that Lemonade in particular deserved to win Album of the Year. Beyoncé made a significant contribution when she explored the mental effects of Jay-Z's infidelity and addressed generational pain and racial injustice. She expertly blended reggae rock, hip-hop soul, funk country, and electronica into a visual album. However, in that year, Adele won Album of the Year. In her acceptance speech, Adele acknowledged that if anyone truly deserved to win Album of the Year, it was Beyonce. Jay-Z undoubtedly agrees that his wife has been overlooked for too long and believes Beyonce should have won Album of the Year at some point in her career. Despite winning over 30 Grammys, only one of Beyonce's 32 wins has been in the big four categories Album of the Year, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and Best New Artist, she won Song of the Year in 2010. This discrepancy has raised eyebrows among fans and critics alike. However, not everyone believes Beyonce's lack of Album of the Year wins is a significant issue. Whoopi Goldberg, for example, stated on The View that given Beyonce's impressive Grammy tally, it doesn't matter that she hasn't won in this specific category. It's worth noting that voting for the Grammys is subjective and Beyonce's 38 nominations speak volumes. While some may disagree with Jay-Z's assertion that Beyonce should win Album of the Year, many agree that he was right to speak up for his wife. Moving on to Diddy, he failed to show up for the Grammys. Despite his album Off the Grid, Diddy's being nominated for Best Contemporary R&B Album. While his representative claimed it was his decision not to attend, there are rumors that organizers and other industry figures were uncomfortable with his presence. There are speculations that Diddy is plotting to expose as many people as possible, leading to concerns among marketing teams and artists about associating with him. However, it remains to be seen whether Diddy's actions will have repercussions for Jay-Z and others in the industry. As Jay-Z continues to advocate for Beyoncé and her rightful recognition, sources close to her have revealed that she left the Grammys early after his speech due to embarrassment. The question remains, does Beyoncé truly deserve Album of the Year based on her past releases? In conclusion, while Jay-Z and Diddy's actions have sparked controversy within the music industry, Beyoncé's ongoing quest for Album of the Year recognition continues to fuel debate among fans and critics alike. The ongoing debate surrounding Beyoncé's Album of the Year recognition has prompted discussions about the Grammy selection process and the music industry's treatment of diverse artists. Some argue that Beyoncé's extensive body of work, innovative artistic contributions, and cultural impact warrant multiple Album of the Year wins. They believe that her albums transcend genres and push boundaries, making her a deserving recipient of the prestigious award. However, Others contend that the Grammy's voting system and biases within the music industry have hindered Beyoncé's chances of winning Album of the Year. They point to instances where lesser-known artists, or those from underrepresented backgrounds, have been overlooked in favor of more mainstream or commercially successful acts. The lack of diversity among Album of the Year winners has also raised questions about the Grammy's inclusivity and recognition of artists from diverse backgrounds. Critics argue that the award should reflect the full spectrum of musical talent and cultural influences rather than favoring a narrow subset of artists. In response to the ongoing debate, the Recording Academy has faced pressure to address issues of diversity, equity, and inclusion within its voting membership and nomination process. 
Initiatives such as the Grammy Task Force on Diversity and Inclusion have been launched to promote transparency and accountability in Grammy voting and nomination procedures. Despite the challenges and controversies surrounding Album of the Year recognition, Beyonce's impact on the music industry and popular culture remains undeniable. Her ability to push artistic boundaries, challenge societal norms, and inspire audiences worldwide has solidified her status as a musical icon and cultural trailblazer. As Beyonce continues to break barriers and redefine the music industry's standards of excellence, the debate over her album of the year, recognition serves as a reflection of larger issues of representation, diversity, and equity within the entertainment landscape. It remains to be seen how the industry will address these challenges and evolve to better recognize and celebrate the contributions of artists from all backgrounds. Beyonce's Album of the Year recognition highlight broader conversations within the music industry about representation, diversity, and the power dynamics that shape artistic recognition and success. Beyonce's journey in the music industry has been marked by numerous achievements and milestones, from her early days as a member of Destiny's Child to her solo career as a multi-platinum selling artist and cultural icon. Along the way, she has used her platform to advocate for social justice, celebrate black excellence, and empower women. Despite her undeniable impact and influence, Beyonce's quest for Album of the Year recognition underscores the challenges faced by artists from marginalized communities in receiving mainstream validation and acclaim. The music industry has historically favored certain genres, demographics, and narratives, often overlooking the contributions of artists who don't fit into traditional molds or commercial formulas. Beyonce's innovative approach to music and storytelling, as exemplified by albums like Lemonade and Renaissance, has pushed boundaries and challenged conventions, earning critical acclaim and resonating with audiences around the world. Yet, her achievements have sometimes been overshadowed by controversies, biases, and systemic barriers within the industry. In recent years, there has been a growing recognition of the need for greater diversity and representation in music, with initiatives aimed at amplifying underrepresented voices and addressing inequalities in access, opportunity, and recognition. Artists, activists, and industry leaders have called for more inclusive practices, equitable representation, and systemic reforms to ensure that all artists have a fair chance to succeed and be celebrated for their contributions. As the music industry continues to evolve and adapt to changing cultural landscapes, there is a renewed focus on celebrating diversity, championing authenticity, and creating inclusive spaces for artists from all backgrounds to thrive. Beyonce's journey serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of challenging norms, breaking barriers, and advocating for greater representation and equity in music and beyond. In conclusion, the ongoing debates surrounding Beyonce's Album of the Year recognition reflect larger conversations within the music industry about diversity, representation, and the complexities of artistic recognition and success. As the industry grapples with these issues, there is a collective responsibility to champion inclusivity, celebrate diversity, and create opportunities for all artists to be seen, heard, and celebrated for their unique contributions to music and culture. Like and subscribe my channel for more videos.